Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Holland here back with another Tuesday tip. And this week what I wanna talk about is how to use your FBA inventory to fulfill orders that are coming in from your other sales channels, such as you know Google Shopping, Etsy, eBay, etc. So if you wanna use your fulfillment by Amazon warehouse to get all those other marketplace orders fulfilled automatically, you can do so right here in your channel settings page. And if you're not sure on how to get to your channel settings page, go ahead and click on settings and then click on sales channel integrations and then just simply select the channel you'd like to enable FBA for. Now, if you're not sure if you even have FBA enabled, it's likely that you do if your Amazon account is connected to Sellbrite, but if you just wanna confirm, go ahead and click on the App Store section and you'll see whether or not Fulfillment by Amazon is enabled. Uh, if it's not, just click on it here and follow the quick um, connection instructions. It's super easy to do. And once you do that, uh, Sellbrite's actually gonna automatically build your FBA warehouse for you uh, within the system. So super easy to do, but let's go ahead and jump into the sales channel integrations again and just make sure that our settings are uh, set up in a way that is gonna get Amazon fulfilling those orders. So we'll scroll down into the warehouse location section. And in my case, what we see is uh, I do have my FBA Amazon warehouse enabled right here. It's in my active warehouses column. Uh, but it's in my number three spot. It's not a priority. It's not in the number one uh, position. So that's fine if that's what I want to do. But with it down here in the number three spot, if if I have orders coming in from Google Shopping, what Sellbrite's going to do is Sellbrite is first going to look to Bright Seller for those orders. And if I have available uh, inventory in my Bright Seller or in my Pasadena warehouses. Uh, those orders are going to get assigned to these warehouses, not to my FBA. So uh, that's not great if that's really what I'm looking to do. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to grab this and I'm just going to put it up here in the number one position. And now when orders come in, Sellbrite will automatically try and assign those orders to my FBA warehouse uh, should I have available inventory there. So that's kind of all you have to do with the exception of one more step down here, which is to uh, enable FBA auto fulfillment. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, enable. And what's going to happen now is I've told Sellbrite to automatically send all of my ready to ship orders to Amazon for fulfillment. So uh, without this enabled, what you'd have to actually do is open up an order and click send to FBA manually. So we give you this option because there are folks who like to have that control. They like the ability to maybe... Um, change their mind to not send a certain order to FBA, uh, or they just wanna be able to do so manually because again, uh, you have a little bit more control. What this does is this just means that an order comes in, we assign it to the FBA warehouse, if the quantities, you know, if the quantities are there, and then boom, we just send it for fulfillment and you don't actually have to do anything, Subright takes care of it for you. So really, uh, really powerful tool, really helpful to keep this on. And you can also enable a couple, a couple other options here. You can um, choose to either send the entirety of that order to FBA only. So this is only gonna send an order to FBA if every SKU within that order uh, can be fulfilled. And if it can't be fulfilled, it won't send. But you can also, if that doesn't, uh, if that doesn't really fit your needs, you can say allow partial shipments. So now if say, you know, two out of the three of my SKUs uh, in an order can be fulfilled by Amazon, we'll send those two and I'll actually deal with that, uh, with that last shipment myself. So. That's really all there is to it. If you have Amazon connected, if you have FBA enabled and you're not seeing your orders get uh, fulfilled automatically, it's likely just due to maybe the way that your settings are configured here. And you know, be sure to do this for more than one channel, right? I'm only doing this for my Google Shopping settings. So if I wanted to do this for any other marketplaces that I connect, I need to go into those uh, specific uh, marketplace channel settings and set this all up. So. Once you have this down, that's all there is to it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions about this, give us a shout at support at And thanks for watching uh, and we'll see you at the next one.